Good evening, everyone. Tonight's very special. Popum, did you eat all the candy for the trick or treaters? <coughs> what did you say? I've told you thousands of times. All we have left is licorice, and nobody likes licorice. Those bastards deserve it. Now you get the leftover candy from the secret stash, and yes, I know about your stash. Oh, fine then. Here's the first segment. It's, it's Bob the Builder and Trapdoor. I'm going to put razor blades in those sweets. So the first episode in this haunted batch is an episode of Bob the Builder. The episode is called Trix's Pumpkin Pie from Season 9. The episode starts with Trix taking a bunch of wood chippings to Bob. Oh wait, this is a YTP. Whoopsie! Not in my town. Skip's gone to take a dump with Molly. You can take that big bag of chippings to Bob. Can I help you, Mark? Of course you can. I said I'd take the pumpkin to the pizza parlour, but I haven't really got time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she's quick. Any of the trains take a tumble. Oh, help, Gordon Crump! I forgot to get the bag of wood chippings for Bob! Hi, Trix! The scarecrow is everyone knows. Ah. Oi, can Spud's got the pumpkin pie! And it's all in one piece! No, I'm not interested. Uh... Hi, Day Day! Have you got a job for me? Nope! to make the pumpkin pie farmer pickles? No, Muck. Mr. Percival's going to make it for this pizza parlour. Where are the children? Have you got a job for me? There is something you could do, Trix. <laughs> you could take that big bag of shit to Bob. Where are you going to put them? Up your ass. If the children take a tumble, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. Where are the children, Bob. They're on holiday. Good. <laughs> Sus, if any of the children take a tumble, they'll have my dick to land on. Where are you going to put them? Right, Muck. Can you fuck off? Now my heart feels like December. Hey! Teacher! Leave my pie alone! <laughs> Why is she cooking the pie at Mr. Sabatini's? Because you touch yourself at night. I can take both, Muck! Here we go again. This will make a really big penis. We got a big building up. Lofty and Wendy roll the joints. Bob and the gang have sucked so much dick like good friends should. That's a good idea. Where are the children, Bob? Wow! Terrific pumpkins. Oh. Thank you. They're enormous! Hi, Day Day! The jet plane! That's me! Have you got a job for me? There is something you could do. You could take that big bag of tricks to Bob. If Bob uh, takes a tumble, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. Hello, Bob and Pickles! Hello, Hermione! What are those? Hi, Day Day! The jet plane! That's you too! Fucking meow! Fucking meow! Fucking meow! Have you got a job? Me. There is something you could do, Trix. You can fuck off. <laughs> that one for a pumpkin pie for tonight. And that one is for fucking... Oh, come pie. Disgusting. I don't know what to do, Spud. Tell you what, Trix. I'll look after the pie. Thanks ever so much, Spud. I won't be long. Take as long as you want, Trix. <laughs> It's not what it looks like. Shoo! Shoo! Get off! Go on! Oh man, my mouth was open! Spud's got the pumpkin pie, and it's in one piece. <laughs> Don't give it a I hope wow. they now go and take That's a look the at the That's the biggest oranges. pumpkin I've ever oranges. seen. Where are you going to put them? On the dildo. Why? So that if any of the children take a tumble, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. <laughs> Deep within this dank and uninviting place lives Burke. Seems nobody wants to hang out in a dank pit no more. Ah, doll! Uh, giving him upstairs a slime bath upstairs must be a revolting job. Giving him upstairs a slime must be a revolting job. Giving him upstairs a babies must be a revolting job. Giving him upstairs a revolting job must be a revolting job. I don't think that's a worm, Drut. 
It's Benny Worm. What is it, oh large and floppy bird? Shall I start with these three chicks at the back here? Oh, I don't think that's a worm, Drut. Oh, I'm rooted in puns. Up your ass. Donut. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's flipping Drut. Irritating fat cut. <laughs> I said, leave my friends behind. Cause your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Cause there's something, something, something. Don't uh, Large and floppy fabbits. I don't think that's a worm, Drut. What the fuck is that? Come on and slam, and welcome to the jail. You stupid thing, hey? Sit down. Stop. Playing with my playing, or you'll get fucked. Come on then, do it. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> oh, fuck. put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down, put, put me Trap door. Cause there's something down there. No. What's that? Oh, it's f***ing drunk. Hello. What is it, oh large and floppy one? Oh, I think I need a fuck. Club it. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, how lovely. He's feeding his babies. Leave it alone, Drutch. You don't know where it's been. It's... Because there's something down there. Oh. I think I need a... I ain't had one for years. There you are, Sawyer. Just how you like it. Nice and thick and slimy. That's lovely. Cause there's something down there. There you are, Sawyer. Just how you like it. Nice and thick and slimy. That's lovely. Which bit shall I wash first? Shall I start with these three lumps at the back here? Oh. I said leave my friends alone, you. Or you'll get bonked. Oh. <laughs> Do you have the same trouble at your place on bath night? No! Oh. What's that? Oh, it's flipping Drut. Stop playing with my punk. Leave it alone, Drut. You don't know where it's been. I think I need a Certainly, Sawyer. There you are, Sawyer. Just how you like it. Nice and thick and slimy. That is disgusting. How's that then, Sawyer? I think that's all the various holes and creases bucked. Help! Help! Oh! Oh! oh. I'm being abused! Oh! Terribly! Stop fucking my friends! Or you'll get bonked! That was scary, wasn't it, boys and girls? Not really. I've seen scarier things in the Mrs. Brown's Boys movie. Oh! Well, our next segment is... Every fucking time. What? What is it? Trick or treat? What are you supposed to be, kid? I'm Dirty Percy. As I was saying, here's the Thomas segment. I swear it takes longer to get to these YTP segments. And his brake fan like breaking them. Say my name, Mr. Oliver. You're goddamn right. Fuck rough. <laughs> you s sh little. T Sorry, sir. Oliver didn't realise that the signalman had been naughty. They were going the wrong way. Here, John, you are going the wrong way. They're not here. Shush. It wasn't Oliver's fault. It's Tilly's fault. And Toad noticed that Oliver was unhappy. He decided to find out why. Excuse me, Mr. Rock. Shut the fuck up! Oliver has not returned. We had better send out a search party. Soon he was high with Harold. Oliver, you have found another attraction for our island. Visitors can come and have sex there. Mmm, sighed Oliver. Excuse me, Mr. Oliver, it seems to me that things are well with you. You're quite right, Toad, replied Oliver. <laughs> Percy's far too busy to be bothered with the likes of you, and he... <laughs> 
You silly engine! shouted a workman. Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with one of my arms. Kept letting me up when I was meant to be down. You know how it is. Wow! How original! Disaster lay ahead. Excuse me, Mr. Oliver. At last, Harold landed. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Oliver. You idiot! What? Don't say that to me. I didn't Shut up! To what? I said you said Turn that you weren't going to talk to him he like that anymore. He ruined it! I'm never going to see oh, that boo, skeleton! Boo, boo. Thank go. you! Ah. Well, I'm dealing with- Oliver, you have found the one piece. The one piece is real! What? It seems to me that things are not well with you, if you forgive me for mentioning it. Mind your own business. You can't! Shouted a workman. It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! That night, the fat controller came to... <coughs> that night, the fat controller came to see Oliver in his shed. Oliver, you have caused confusion. You shall be sent to the scrapyards. Wash! <laughs> Disaster lay ahead. <laughs> if you forgive me for mentioning it. But I think snow is splendid. Harumph. And he was rough with the trucks. What right has he to poke his funnel in here? Look sharp! You silly little green engine! Snorted James. You're the only danger on the rails. Oliver, said Henry. Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with my arms. Kept letting me down when I was meant to be up. Through the station they thundered. Disaster lay ahead. Then he saw something. It was an empty old house beside the station. What the fuck is this piece of shit? May I suggest that you speak to the fat controller about your problems? Oliver just grew... <laughs> It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. I missed the part where that's my problem. Disaster lay ahead. May I suggest that you speak to the fat country about your problems? We want a first pa. The signalman had dozed off waiting for them. When he returned, he spoke to Oliver. Chichis. May I suggest that you speak to the fat controller about your problems? His driver took them along the coke run with the schlong train. The sea was the sea, and Oliver's driver couldn't help but come right in Oliver's smoke box. Then he saw something. <gasps> That's the school where Julia Jekyll goes! And he was rough with the trucks. James didn't take the news well. Look what you've done to my bloody turntable! None! His driver took them along the coastal run with a post train. The seamen was come and the fresh air couldn't help but brighten Oliver's spirits. My eyes! You're no good, Oliver. You're dangerous. We want Percy. Fuck off. You silly son. Oliver, you have caused confusion. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with my penis. Kept letting me down when I was meant to be up. Oliver didn't realise that the signalman had died waiting for them. There he is! You're dangerous! We want dirty per- Get up in your face! Oh well. Let's go home. Oliver has not returned. Anyway. Oliver didn't realize that the signalman had dozed off waiting for them. Change the channel, Marge. There must be something sus here with that signal. Yeah. We'll go slowly and... Don't they know I'm busy spying? <laughs> Oliver whistled several times, but the signal stayed red. <laughs> There must be something wrong with that signal. We'll go slowly and stop by the signal box, said his driver. Stop right there! Oh, Donald and Douglas are Scottish twins. They enjoy working on the fat controller's penis. My word. Where are you going? Asked Percy. I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. Lord Callan's castle is in Misty Valley. Aww, there it is. Cried Donald. What? Oh, shouted Douglas. It was Harvey and the breakdown crane. 
Uh, sorry. It was Harvey and the breakdown train. Donald and Douglas are Scottish. No shit, Sherlock! We could take the cause, said Donald's driver. It's too dangerous. The fat controller was yeah. the, the fat controller had been naughty. So Gordon didn't want to take the special train and ran into a ditch. Suddenly, the twins were snowed under. What? Six! Lord Callan was very angry. He had bloated Gusberg! I always feared somebody's watching me. The twins were excited. Going to Lord Callan's castle would be like going to Lord Callan's castle. Oh, really? But there was trouble ahead. Trees had fallen across the line. <laughs> Meow. What's that? Is it the monster? It's not. It's us. No. By morning, the lines were clear. Donald and Douglas hurried off to the castle. There was a loud crash. Stop! Donald's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. They nearly always were... Not again! Where are you going? Lord Callan's castle? Boy, the demolition factory. What? <laughs> it's come back to Longbridge. <laughs> it's on strike. I'll call for help. Suddenly. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> is it the monster? <laughs> for sure it is. I'm always watching. Donald and Douglas are Scottish twins. We know that, you fool. They enjoy working on the Fat Bill, Controller's Railway. Bill. Where are you going? asked Percy. Lord Callan's Castle, Donald proudly announced. Boy Castle Cock. <gasps> Scared the monster might get you, teased Douglas. He might, said Donald. I was joking, you beanhead! Donald and Douglas stopped too late. <laughs> then suddenly, there was a loud crash. You hear that? Nothing. That's right. <laughs> is it the monster? cried Douglas. For sure it is. They enjoy my fat controllers. Harvey, you straight no. Nope. It's okay to be gay. Then suddenly, there was a loud crash. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack, quack. He might, said Donald. There's no monster. There is two. There is not. Is two. Is not. Is too many fucking twos. But sometimes they long for Sealand, their old home. Scared the monster might get ya, teased Douglas. He might, said Donald. There's no monster. What the fuck, Douglas? I was joking. One day the fat controller was caught me. Lord Callan Cashel is finally reopening. I need you to take that good vacation to the station. The twins were excited. But there was trouble ahead. I'll call for help, said Douglas's driver. Splendid outfit, sir. The fat controller was trying on his present for Lord Callan when he heard the news. By morning, the lines were clear. Lord Callan was waiting for the fat controller to unload on his face. Ah, a splendid. Harvey, you must load them straight away. What are you waiting for? Chinese New Year? Go! Sorry, Mr. Aziz. Donald and Douglas, trapped by the lock, he said. Good. <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> now, bitch! Donald and Douglas, trapped by the lock, he said. Who cares? Let them die. Oh, that's, that's not very nice. nice. Splendid outfit, sir. What's that? Called Donald. Is it the monster? Cried Douglas. I am a Stegosaurus! Lord Callan was pleased. Oh, hey, Yoko Ono and the two remaining Beatles piss off. Well... Lord Callan's castle is a castle. There he is! Trees had fallen across the line. Then suddenly, there was a loud crap. I'll call for... Come, something strange through the mist. There's no mist. Well... I'm glad I'm not going to Castle Lock. Scared the monster might get you. Oh, yeah. Donald and Douglas, trapped by the lock. Still no help had come. Then suddenly, there was a loud crash. 
the brake van had been hit by a landslide and the guard was dead. We could take the causeway, said Donald's driver. But the brake van had come off the rails, said Douglas's driver. So, even if it wasn't dangerous, we can't take the causeway. The fat controller was trying on his present from Lord Callan when he heard... Fatty, too much pie, that's your problem. Suddenly, the twins spotted something strange. In the neighbourhood. What's that? Called Donald. Your ass! Cried Douglas. Ah, that had a bastard. Oh, that's not very nice. They puffed proudly around the lock toward their destination. There it is! Cried Donald. <laughs> shouted Douglas. I'll call for help, said Douglas's driver. But the twins had passed. Fantastic. I'm standing near the door so that way I don't have to keep getting out of my chair. Trick or treat, Lou Thomas. Do I miss the Thomas segment? You do realise there's another segment coming up? Oh man, it's always a show I've never heard of. Our last segment is Huxley Pig and Farm and Sham. Hope everyone at home enjoys it. No, no, the next segment must have the Togs episode Ghosts, because that's related to Halloween, so the next segment must have Togs. The only Togs I want is the one your mother gives me. It's a lovely day to walk down the Sausages. Huxley Pig was looking at Granny's bum. <laughs> I'll just read the first story. It's called The Blank Page. Yeah, it gives me the willies. What are you? Well, must be a pretty big cock. Uh, you only have to ring this little bell. <laughs> what have you put in this, uh, this burger? Speed, weed, heroin, cocaine, mushrooms, pine clean, petrol. <laughs> A new meme every day, Huxley Pig. Huxley Pig was looking at the phone his granny had sent him. It was all about horse. <laughs> A new dream every day, Huxley Pig. Oh, hello, Horace. Are you the agent for Holiday Haunts? Oh, dear me, no, no. <laughs> Ooh. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, he's just like the portrait. Spitting image. Fuck off. <laughs> Yuck. Come. A new dream every day. Huxley Pig. Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. There's no pictures. Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. <laughs> Not many jokes. Oh, it's the old, oh, it's the old. Who? What? Where? <laughs> Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. It was all about go nuts and things that go bop. Your bum. Blimey! Ooh. Hello. A slight rumble, sir. Cuddles thinks it's his cumbo. What the fuck are you talking about? Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. It was all about things that come you in the butt. Blimey! Ooh. Hello there. General Kenobi. Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. Uh, um. Here, that geezer whacked at me. Honest. Are you the agent for Holiday Haunts? No. Huxley Pig was looking at the book his granny had sent him. Chapter One. Uh, um. It was a... Uh, oh, crap. You don't appreciate old houses, Sam. This is a cosy. Oh, Sam, that's just poor... Blimey! Gentlemen. Uh, um, are you there, Sam? No. Beatles. I'll just read the first story. Uh, um. It was a misty moonlit night. That's enough. You know, Sam, <laughs> you should never... Feel that panelling. Solid oak. I don't know, maybe we should help them open it. Well, they'll figure it out, probably. I think I have it figured out now. Good evening. Fuck! Blimey! I'm gonna throw up. When he hears that fire alarm, 
Wait a minute, this isn't right. Much better. Can I have a light for my lantern? Oh. Don't worry, you've got to be careful with candles. Always get a grown up to look. Lovely costume. Lovely. Lovely. Fuck off! Move aside, make way. Where, 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 Norman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get you a pumpkin fit for a zomkin fifth. This year I'm gonna be a vampire. The world is a vampire. This one's perfect. It's a monster. No, it's a pumpkin. When I wake up in the morning and the long control. Norman, don't slam that. Oh. This year I'm gonna scare even more. <laughs> No, more of a keep fit kind of guy. Why the fuck you lying? Lovely costume. Lovely. Give it a button, darling. Sam is always cool and calm. <gasps> You're not even dressed up. Give them a scare they'll never forget. <laughs> oh no! It's really your fools. What's the matter with this damn door? Hello, Norman. It's exactly what it looks like. I don't care if you are a big sh you are a Don't worry, Norman. We'll fuck your mum. Just because it's Halloween doesn't mean you can go scaring everyone, you know? Even Norman leaves his castle in search of the biggest testicles. Just because it's Christmas, Christmas doesn't mean you can go scaring everyone, you know? <laughs> now you've got to be careful with candles. Always get a grow. <laughs> the giant enemy spider. <gasps> Mamma mia! Evil Count Norman leaves his castle in search of the biggest penis in the world. Now you've got to be careful with candles. Always get a grow. Evil Count Norman. And remember to blow the grow up before you go to bed. Lovely costume. Lovely. <sighs> Lovely. Yes. Haven't you idiot? Now for my next victim. Later. Help! Help! <laughs> Fire. Grocery shop. Oh no! My pumpkin. So move aside, make one. E what are those? They're pumpkins. Now listen, Norman. I hope you're not going to scare everyone out of their foot skin like you did last year. Everyone will know that Norman Price is going it for shit for scares. What is this concoction? That's a batwing soup. Oh no! My mom! There's smoke coming out of Dillis's roof. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Sorry, Elvis. Elvis. It's my Norman. Oh, he's so autistic. Can I have a light? Oh. Well, off you go then. And watch out for Norman. I have a nasty feeling he's planning some serious mischief. <gasps> fucking hell! I wanna be scary. We are closed the fucking doors! <laughs> oh, mama, fucking here. Now that those bastards are done for the night, now I can enjoy my double decker. Mm. Oh, fuck! Topper! Did you swear? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I mean, uh, sugar. Oh, sugar. That's not nice and clean. No, mother, it's just an odd and light. Call the fire brigade! What do you want me to call them, Mum? What? Hey, Tom, do it myself! Hello? I'd like the fire service immediately! Do you want mushrooms with that? Papa! What have you done with my food? I'm leaving! I hope you're burning that house, you piece of shit! Papa! 